Welcome Virgo. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need help with right now using grace cards, nature's whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, let's have a look here Virgo. <clears throat> Starting with the grace cards. Three cards for Virgo please. First card is rest. Next card is shine. Nice. Love it, Virgo. That one up there was on its side. That was a bit strange. Anyway, last card for Virgo from the Grace Cards flip. There we go. <laughs> Don't we love it when that happens? Yes, we do. Okay. Righty. So the first card here is rest. All right. Take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. So true, Virgo. So true. And I feel like here with the um, rose petals here, that, that rest is, um, you know, part of that self-care, being loving to yourself by taking that rest. If, you know, things are pretty full on for you, that is actually... Um, going to help you to be able to cope with you know whatever it is that you have to deal with okay next card here is shine step into the light you are a gift to the world yes and the thing is here see how she's levitating above the earth she's risen up right body and all she's not even She's not even on the earth plane in a sense. And I feel like I'm getting two things about this actually. Firstly is the need to ground yourself, okay. But also it's kind of like I suppose when we step into the truth of who we are and allow ourselves to be, then we raise up. We don't even have to try. This is the thing. I think sometimes we're always striving to be this and be that and be ourselves and you know, all that jazz, but we don't actually need to try to do that. It's natural for us. It doesn't feel natural at times because we're resisting it somehow. And that can often be due to thoughts um, of what people will think about you. Um, you know, there's lots of different reasons why we don't allow ourselves to be who we truly are. But, you know, when we do, that sets us free. Anyway, okay, invoke is the next card here. Ask for a blessing. There is an endless supply of divine support awaiting your request. Yes, invoke that, right? And it's a matter of asking. It's a matter of asking what is in your heart? What is it you truly want, right? So, yeah, I love that. And send that to the universe because she's got this bubble here and it's like she's sending her wishes off to be fulfilled right so yeah I really like that anyway Virgo let's get going here so for rest two cards for Virgo for rest please let me just get the energy in there okay two cards for rest for Virgo please two cards be gentle with yourself yep for sure be gentle with yourself. One more card for rest. Oh, there it is. Of course, it fell on the floor. Okay, so we've got rest and pause. Oh, oh, sorry. Be gentle with yourself and pause, which makes total sense coming under rest here, right? Um, that need to be gentle with yourself. <sighs> you know, I, I really... I, I really... I'm getting this sense, Virgo, that you beat yourself up big time um, with your mind. It's like, Virgo, okay, hang on, two cards, but be gentle with yourself for Virgo. It's kind of like I get this sense of this energy that, you um, are a lot harder on yourself than anyone else around you, in the sense that you'll Make more allowances for those around you than you will for yourself. 
I think I think Virgo that yeah, there's this real harshness actually for some of you of what you in your mind speak to yourself. You wouldn't actually speak like that to anybody else. One more card for be gentle with yourself. Ooh, just got it with my elbow. Maybe that's my new talent. Okay, traveling. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. Here's the thing, right? The journey that you're traveling in your lifetime is yours and yours alone. Okay, no matter what um, path you're going down, it is your journey. You could have 10 or 15 people going down that path with you, but it's still only your journey that you are traveling, not everyone else's. So if you're traveling this path, right, there's a person here. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a person right there. Okay, so there's no one else on this path with them. What kind of companion do you want to be for yourself? Really think about that, Virgo. Because do you want someone going, oh, you tripped over that rock, you egg? You know, do you want someone putting you down? Do you want someone, you know, dissing you, um, not having your back, not uplifting you? What do you want for yourself? Okay, because remember too, what, what goes on on the inside is what goes on on the outside. So if this is how you speak to yourself, then you're going to draw in those who will speak to you like that. Okay. Um, it's like this rest. It's sort of like this thing of like, you. some of you may actually be forced to rest. Okay. If you don't take the rest that you need, you may end up being forced to rest. So be aware of that. But also it's sort of like this feeling of, Oh, even that, you know, like, oh, for goodness sakes, don't be lazy sort of thing. So, yeah, there's, there's a bit of a harsh energy in your mind here. Morality, yep, see? And you keep, you know, this is the thing. We can kind of like keep ourselves stuck in this um, because we feel like that's going to help us achieve what we want to achieve. But it's time to try another way. Try to be more... Um, more understanding, more understanding with yourself, more understanding with those around you, okay, it's kind of like take a rest from that, this mental stuff in your mind, okay, because then what will happen is you'll be able to release yourself from this cage of nastiness, And, and that's not to say that you're a nasty person necessarily. Okay, I don't mean it like that. It's what's going on in here. It's like you bully yourself, Virgo. And you don't deserve that. No one do, deserves that, all right? So it's, yeah, and I feel like with this pause card here is every time you think something, pause and hear it. Really hear it. So that, because it could be so natural for you that you don't even notice you're doing it. Okay, two cards for pause for Virgo, please. Two cards for pause for Virgo. Intensity, yep. You might start to see the intensity of exactly what those words, that internal talk is um, having on you. That, yeah, yep, become conscious. Become conscious of this intensity intensity um but also the thing is that with these other cards here when you become conscious of this okay and um because if i feel like these words in your mind are causing you to feel kind of on edge in a sense for some of you um so this is a new beginning in how you approach things how you approach yourself how you approach those around you and how you approach life itself okay so What's the next card here? Shine. Step into the light. You are a gift to the world. And I hear you, Virgo. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> we can argue all day about it. <laughs> um, okay, so two cards for shine for Virgo, please. And, and this may be why this rest is required. Because your path is traveling along to the light here, okay, to step into the light, Virgo. Yes, you are worthy. 
Yes, you are capable. Yes, you are able. Okay, so these cards are very... Get them together. Um, so it is necessary for you to be incredibly gentle with yourself. Nurturing and loving. Okay, so Virgo. Two, one more card for Shine for Virgo, please. Okay, so first card up here is Let Love Be Your Beacon. Oh, I love this. Yes. And that's just it, right? It's it's a matter of having that love for yourself in order for that to guide you, okay? And if we beat ourselves up, we can't actually do that, all right? But aside from that, I'm going to try and stop harping on about that now because I feel like that, that message has been given. But when this, yeah, okay, this, this really is so... When I was talking before about what you attract and who's around you, when you um, when love is your beacon, that is who you draw into you into. Okay, this is who you draw into your life. All right, so two cards for let love be your beacon, please. Let love be your beacon for Virgo. Two cards. Three cards then. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yep, change is happening and you can't control it. You can't control it. You're beating yourself up internally about what has gone on and um, you feel like potentially if you had just done this this way or if you had said this or, or whatever, that um, it would all be okay. For others of you, I feel like... Um, there's been some sort of escape out of a controlling situation. And so there's this rest that is needed for you to take this mental break from everything that has been ingrained in here and um, and allow love to lead the way now. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, so make a decision. Make a decision here, Virgo. Okay, so tell me more about this make a decision. I feel like whatever decision you make, there is beauty on both parts to be had, okay? Two cards for make a decision. One. One more card for make a decision. There it is. Okay, so comparison. Yep. For sure, not comparing yourself to others. Understanding that um, we all breathe the same air. You know, this person over here doesn't breathe different air from you. Okay, we are all we are all one of the same. There is no difference. The only difference is visually. Okay, the two trees here they have different purposes in life. But they're both still trees. They're of the tree family. They both create air. They, they create oxygen for us to breathe. Right? To cleanse the air. So this is the thing. Virgo, I think it's important for you to understand that you are actually fine the way you are. There's nothing wrong with you. No matter what's been told to you, there's nothing wrong with you. What was wrong was what's been implanted, I suppose, into you. And now this is replaying over and over and over again. Time to change the record, the source. Yes, there's a massive beginning here. There's a massive new beginning, okay, which is super exciting. Um because we've got change, we've got consciousness, we've got the source here, okay? And this is really tapping into this source of you, coming back to you here, Virgo, and who you truly are, right? Okay, so invoke. Here we go. I'm interested in this one. I love this. Okay, so... Two cards, but invoke Virgo, please. Ask 
for a blessing. There is an endless supply of divine support awaiting your request. It totally is. I love this. Okay, so the first card here we have is breakthrough. Awesome. This is a breakthrough for you here, Virgo. Okay, so yeah, and you know what? This is this transformation, and I feel like, you know, for some of you, you've been wanting this transformation. Um, it's a transformation that is going to allow you to let, to step into this light and be truly you, right? To let the truth of who you are actually fly and be seen and adored and admired. Yes, by everyone around you, but most importantly, Virgo, by you. Okay, so two cards for breakthrough for Virgo, please. Two cards. Okay, great. Thank you. We've got healing here and we've got maturity. See, this is, <laughs> this again, this is incredible, actually. This is a, a beginning in um in so many aspects for you okay um it's really interesting because i'm feeling like there there needs to also be a new beginning in love but it's love for yourself all right it's love for here your heart Okay, and this is where, this is about you opening up your heart. Because as you can see here, she's, you know, stretching out that, that heart area, that heart chakra. And this heart chakra here is opening up. So this is about you healing this heart, working on that, okay, so that you can begin to open up, okay, to let love be your beacon. Remember, let love be your beacon here. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So, okay, so next card here is assurance. Yes, this here is being you've had to feel, you've felt like you've had to protect yourself for a really long time. And now it's, um, you can actually let the ice melt in a sense, you know. You can safely grow into who it is you truly are. Okay, so assurance. Two cards for assurance for Virgo, please. Two cards for assurance for Virgo. Nice. Adventure. Treat it like an adventure, right? Okay. And this is this inner child as well. Allowing this inner child to come out and explore. Letting the inner child know, it's okay. I, the adult self, have got this journey, but you can come along for the journey. Okay, um, come along for the ride, I think I was meant to say. Um, anyway, compromise, yeah. Um, this is sort of letting go of the stubbornness here, okay? Um, because I feel as though that is going to get in your way of allowing your heart to open. Okay, and letting love be your beacon is stubbornness. So this is very important for you to be aware of, okay? And I know, I know, Virgo, if, if someone's hurt you or something's happened and you're like, I'm not going to let them, you know, whatever, um, that, that can actually hold you back in a sense. And I know it's hard because, yeah, same, same. Like, I've had to do that too. <laughs> And it is hard, you know, um, but but it is freeing. It is freeing because when we hold on to that energy, we bring more of that in, okay, and um, and we project it, and that's not what you really want to be doing, okay, because that's not going to assist you along this journey, all right, and that's also not going to allow you to step into the light, okay, and be the gift that you truly are to the world. All right, Virgo, so yes, um, there we go, short and sweet, realistically, for, you know, what we usually do here, but um, yeah, these messages are coming through clear and concise, and I'm loving it, um, so yeah, 
Virgo, I shall leave that with you. Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.